We'll start off with the Washington Freedom. We'll start with their squad. Um, Nate, break down our very own Dame Pete plays for the squad. Break down what you like. Yeah, so so we you know we've got we've got a really good team here. I think there's a lot of balance on this team. We talked before about how you want to have a plan B for everything. They look like they have a plan B for everything. They've got almost everything you could want sure. to have in a T20 uh, team. Really good balance. Uh, you know, I, I, I think there are some teams that, that, that are stacked a little better in terms of just bashing the ball, and there are some teams that are stacked a little better in, in this way or that way. But as far as having a little bit of everything on this team, uh, the Washington has that. So we got Andre's house. I'm going to talk about the domestics first of all. Uh, Andre's house, he's a wicket keeper. He's from South, South Africa. He's been here over two years in the USA. He's considered by many to be the best batter in, in domestically in the USA. I think that's a very fair thing. At the very at least, he's one of the top three. Yep. But most people consider Andres the very best batter in the U.S. Now, one of the things that he does extremely well is when you watch him play, you can see how his batting style can translate to pretty much any format. Sure. He, he plays very safe shots, but he's so accurate with his placement of the ball that he scores anyways. And, you yeah. know, and it, it, good luck getting him out in the, in the power play um, where he eases his way in by, and finds gaps and, and scores boundaries in beautiful cricket shots. Yes. And uh, then we got Mukhtar Ahmed. We saw, we saw a little bit of him in the uh, Champions the, Open. Yeah. The Champions Open. Thank you. Um, and he, he's kind of new to the scene in, in the USA, he committed, to, committed to playing here and, and, and uh, uh, retiring from his, his home nation. Uh, Mukhtar Ahmed, and he's a very good look at his, look at his statistics, watch him play. There's, he was taken second. By, by the Washington in the draft, and, and you know, he's very good. O Ova Spinar, um, our buddy here <laughs> in, in uh, Morrisville, uh, left, he's, he's a number, th number three, four, five batter, uh, excellent batter in minor league, uh, left arm orthodox spinner. Yeah. Uh, Sorab, USA former captain, left arm, fast bowler, super good. Well, he's like, more like a medium fast bowler. Very good, very efficient. Um, I'm taking a while, so I'm going to speed through these guys a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Saad Ali, left arm, uh, left-handed batter um, from Pakistan, who played for Chicago Tigers last yep. year, helped them get to the the playoffs. That was a big part of that. Big part of that. He tends to bat at the top of the order. Uh, open uh, tends to open. Uh, at least in the USA, but he has batted all over the place in his career. Uh, Dane Pete, our our <laughs> Dane, <laughs> Dane bring da hashtag Green Dane back. PJ yeah. put it up here. Yeah, put it put it up there. Yeah. So Dane's our buddy and our in uh, one of the co-hosts of our show. Yep. Um, one of the st the star of our. Show. He is the star. The he star. is the star. It we're we're us, just yeah. you know, we're supporting. We're yeah. we're in the outskirts of it. Yeah. Anyways, he's a, he's a um, former Test spinner for. South Africa, right arm off spinner, and he he can bash with the bat. He, we, we saw him win two games for for the Raptors last. Very week. smart with how he plays the bat. He you know, yeah. when you talk to him, he, he just understands the game at a high level. He's a, got a great brain for this, and he's a good mentor for youth. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and Sujith Gowda, oh man, Sujith has been one of the top performers in Major League Cricket. Or, sorry, in Minor League Cricket the last two seasons. Yeah. He's put up a ton of runs. A very reliable batter, uh, top order batter. Um, and you know he can bat just about any place sure. too. But uh, he's he's one of my favorites in the league. I love him. Justin Dill, another one of my favorites. Uh, all rounder, bowling all rounder, plays in St. Louis as the captain of the St. Louis minor league team. Uh, but he's also from South Africa. He I believe he won the World Cup in um, the T the U19 World Cup with South Africa. Wow. Um, so he's you know um, got a lot of experience. And then Akhilesh Bodigam, our buddy, uh, the U23 for this team. Um, we got to see him in Atlanta two years ago. Yep. Then in Seattle, I went to Seattle and won the league along with Andres House in minor league cricket. A young, bright star. I think he's a phenomenal bowler. Tall, skinny. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think putting him on this team with the spinners that they have both domestically and overseas is a great move. And, you know, I'm, I'm focusing more on the domestics here sure. because I think that's more of the value we bring to people. We know more. We know a lot about them. And the overseas – <laughs> They're already well known. They speak for themselves. <laughs> but, you know, not only is Nate breaking down this squad, he also predicted an 11. PJ jumped the gun here. He put his 11 in there. So, PJ, compare your 11 to Nate's coming up here. Nate, break, uh, break down why you went with this. PJ's got 11. his 11. Now, PJ, I made this graphic beforehand, so I'm not trying to rip anything off of you if you see any similarities here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, here's, here's my Washington 11. I got Andres uh, leading off, opening uh, with the bat, uh, right-handed. And I, I got – there's three wicket keepers on this team, really. Uh, I, I don't think Glenn Phillips is going to keep wicket. I think it's going to be either uh, Philippi or Andres House. Sure. And um, e either either way. 
Um, but both of them are opening, and they're both right-handed. I got Saad Ali in at number three, and this was a really hard decision because I basically put Mukhtar Ahmed, who was their second overall pick, I basically put him on the bench just to get a lefty in there. Sure. As you look at the rest of the team, there's no lefty to speak of. This is one area I think Washington lacks is left-handed bats, and we know here – in the USA, left-handed bats do a great job neutralizing certain kinds of spin and certain kind of fast bowling that, that we see in abundance in the USA. Absolutely. Uh, then we got uh, Glenn Phillips. You know, we've seen him, videos of him bowling a lot uh, with his right arm off-break bowling, and he and he does bowl you know, a decent amount in T20. He's good at it. Uh, right-handed batter. He's number four in this team. To me, that is one of the spots that's just cemented. cemented. I saw a yeah. video of him in the nets, and he was absolutely yeah. just smoking the it's ball. Ridiculous. It was unbelievable. And his brother played here in minor league uh, last year. So his brother played out in California for the lashings. Um, there you go. Yeah, and he was super good. He was also a keeper, uh, um, but he played great. And we got Obas Pinar at the number five. Um, our buddy Obas uh, – <laughs> who has joined us before in the minor league draft show. Yep. And we get to, we get to commentate on him because he plays for the Raptors, Raptors here. Yep. Um, right-handed bat, slow lar- left arm orthodox. Now I don't know how much he's going to bowl, but this number five spot for him is terrific. And, and you know, he's finished a lot of games for the, for, for the Raptors. He's a finisher and, and he can go the distance and put up really big scores. He holds the record in minor league yep. actually for the fastest, fastest hundred. hundred. Then we've got uh, Moises Enriquez and, and Moises, man. I've got him at number six. This, this is how – I love this top six right here, uh, um, really. And, and Moises, I considered putting him at three because like, he can handle it. Yeah. But he seems to be really comfortable in this spot. He's the captain of the team, right arm, fast, medium bowler. Uh, and then I got Hasaranga, who was amazing in the World Cup qualifier. He's up for the ICC Player of the Month. So oh, he should get it. He should get it. Uh, he's, been, he's been phenomenal. Um, we'll talk more about that later, about the, the qualifier later. But it's, as far as a T20 player goes, Absolutely. if you could pick any set of skills, you might end up being Hasaranga. <laughs> you know, if you could, you know, handpick all the all different skills. Sp- skills. He's, he's, he's amazing. We got Marco Janssen, um, who at number eight, this is a luxury here, left, uh, left arm fast medium. I like, I wanted to have a left fast medium, and they have, they have depth at this position too because they have also have Dwarshus yep. there. So um, it's going to come down to one of those two, and I think uh, Jansen gets the, gets the edge there. Um, but both of those guys can, hit, can do well at that number eight spot, I think. Then we've got our own Dane Pete at number nine. And um, uh, right arm off break bowler uh, who, can, who can also score at that number nine position. Gives them a little added depth, I think. Uh, and then Nordke, Nordke at, at, uh, at number 10, right arm fast bowler. He's cemented in the team from from day one. thousand percent. Like, yeah, there's, there's, no, no, there's to, no moving him there's off. No if moving you're bowling 150 in this league, you're, you're playing he, on the he's, team. I can't, he's one of the guys I'm most excited to yeah. see. And then we got Saurabh Netravarkar right behind him. Uh, Saurabh, uh, um, my buddy, USA, former captain, and uh, one of the top bowlers in ODI cricket. Um, yeah. You know, one of the top, I think, five or, five or six bowlers, maybe ten, top ten bowlers in, in ODI cricket in, in the world uh, at number 11. <laughs> I'm. I was stoked about this team's drafting. Sure. I think they did a great job, and you know, unfortunately, on the bench I have uh, uh, Mukhtar Ahmed, Sujith Gowda, Justin uh, Dill, Akhilesh Badagam, and Osman Rafiq, which I didn't mention before. Osman Rafiq was recently taken, as we mentioned, yep. in this free free agent round. Gives them depth at the left arm uh, uh, orthodox bowling position. That's, so we'll see. My playing 11 here is going to – everyone's is going to depend sure. on how the wickets go. No, absolutely, right, whether you go spin, where you go more pace. Um, I like the 11 here. I had Mukhtar Ahmed um, at three for mine, but I completely understand having Saad Ali as your extra left-handed. And if you look at PJ's 11, he is both um, in there. He's yeah. put sat Dane out and brought Saad Ali to bat. Um, at really the six role and right. brought Phillips down right. um, a peg as well to bat at seven. So he's you know kind of flipped with the order a little bit right. and let the big hitters stay in a big hitting role. Um, yeah. An interesting 11 there. I'm not sure I would have Glenn Phillips batting that low, but I think Glenn Phillips at four, I think you're right with that. And I do yeah. think – you know, Dane becomes the option of do we want extra bat? Do we I want think the extra spin? I think that's, and where, that's it goes. where the wicket comes yeah, in, right? Yeah. I think he's very understanding of that as well. Uh, yeah, I think um, with this team, if you want another bat, then you're going to sit Dane and you're going to put Mukhtar Ahmed in there. Right. Is what I think you're going to do, because you do have good spin options already. Um, but I, I, I just thought I thought having Dane in there, turning the other way from uh, Hasaranga, obviously Glenn Phillips can do that too. But Dane, we know, can give you four. Uh, it depends on what you want to do with your with your bowling, sure. you know. Yeah, absolutely. And he also had um, 
the opening partnership to be Andres Kos and uh, Mukhtar Ahmed. PJ did and had uh, Felipe sit in place for Adam Milne. And again, when you have Adam Milne on this uh, lineup too, you just forget to mention how yeah. many great guys yeah. are on this team and just give you a bunch of different yeah. flavors. And it, so it really does. Like you mentioned, there's a lot of depth, and I think they drafted um, really well. So again, if you have any uh, Freedom 11s you want to put in the chat, feel free to do so. Feel free. And to... we didn't even mention Hussein. Yeah, Akil Hussein. He's you know they brought him over here, brought one of their last uh, overseas signings. Sure. And you know he right now. And our 11 doesn't seem to have, find a spot. So, yeah. again, this team is just so loaded with his arm ball a lot is nasty. Of yeah. He's got a nasty arm. He's got... and these wickets might be great for him, too. We'll see. We'll see. Again, it's all going to depend on day one. And we're so excited. Eight days to go till that first ball it's is cold. It's crazy. 